I have huge respect for Andrew Yang. Yeah, I'm pro bakeries. I love bread too. What if the billionaires are right if we are being lazy? Uh, let me assure you, the billionaires are not right about pretty much anything. <laughs> They're just evil, feudalist oligarchs. Yeah, let us be lazy anyways. On it, There's more I want to read about it on the topic of laziness, but basically laziness, as it's, you know, talked about, doesn't really exist. Like, it's not an issue at all. And um, it's literally just used to, like, gaslight everyone. Do you like Elon Musk? No, absolutely not. Come on, he's like the real life Iron Man. No, Elon Musk is genuinely like real stupid, real evil, and dangerous. Um, like is everyone just gonna skirt past the sexual assault allegations against him that just came out? <laughs> Cause I'm not. Or the fact that he's uh, exploiting labor in China and everywhere else he has Tesla companies. Or the fact that he grew up getting his money from uh, what kind, like, some mining in the Congo or whatever, that's, like, how his, like, he was born into, like, nasty family money. Or the fact, I'm almost done, that he steals other people's work to get, um, money, so, like, all of his patents and stuff aren't even, like, his original ideas. Trump only got a small loan of a million dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Only a million dollars. Yeah, Elon Musk comes from a colonizing family. Someone said they never knew all of this. I know, I know. They've come to change the structure, tear it down and rebuild it. Yay for you. Your platform is corn 2034. Sounds like a platform I can get behind.
Yeah, Elon Musk also gets his money. He gets rich from government subsidies, and if anyone doesn't understand what that is, it's American taxpayers' dollars. You pay money to the government, and that money goes directly to Elon Musk. So if anyone's lazy or taking handouts, it would be Elon Musk. While he also dodges his own taxes and exploits his workers, but you know, he's so smart, he's so great. Just like Bezos, yep. This is a billionaire hate club right here. Someone wants to talk about gun control. I honestly don't want to talk about gun control at all. The issue is too touchy for me because of everything that just happened in Texas. It was really, really upsetting and emotional and it's not something I want to get into. Every time you turn the filter bells up, yeah, it's really annoying. I'm with you, those fat cats or dogs. <laughs> are about to get ugly. Yeah, I think a recession is coming. Um, that's gonna suck. Okay. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie right now is Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's still in theaters, I believe, so you should definitely go watch it. It's like the most beautiful, compelling, emotional roller coaster of a movie I've ever seen. Um, and I love it. It's got themes of like generational trauma, but also of like the universe and chaos and life and meaning. It's, it's very good. What is everyone else's favorite movie? price of housing in Australia is crazy. I'm sure the price of housing everywhere is crazy. And um, it's places like BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, like the big banks and nasty companies that are buying up entire subdivisions and then leasing it out back to people who want to can only rent homes now. Um, we're like literally circling back to feudalism, even though we never technically left it, um, which is trash. My favorite film is The Day of the Beast. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I've come to destroy the fabric of society. Listen, you're like a menace. <laughs> Hi from the Philippines. 